What's going on, everybody? This is a segment from the Nerdgasm Talk podcast. If you like podcasts, well, why don't you come join us as the crew gets silly and Philly while we sit to talk about the latest in comics, games, movies, and all things pop culture. You guys can listen to our whole show on all the podcasts that's we're on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you guys get your podcasts from. And make sure you guys also support the channel by subscribing to the Nerd Coalition Studios. And for the gaming needs, make sure you subscribe to Nerd Coalition level up this is the nerd coalition hope you guys enjoyed the show and now feel the nerd friday mortal kombat one with air boom they had a panel revealing what year two of mortal kombat is going to be and then they revealed the chaos reign that is the new expansion for mortal kombat one which, by the way, is it's is following the same pattern as Mortal Kombat 11. They had Mortal Kombat Aftermath, and so now they're doing they're doing that thing. So now we're getting a new story expansion. We're getting four new skins, and we're getting six new characters. And of course, the characters have come to uh, a form of discussion of controversy. But that's what we're going to sit there and talk about. I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion about it. I actually kind of want to hear Quadro's opinion about it. I know. He hasn't played Mortal Kombat 1 like that. And I know he's probably in the echo chamber of hearing all the negative things about Mortal Kombat 1. And I'm just like, bruh, let it cook. And they, they was cooking on this motherfucker because, number one, not all, first of all, Takeda just came out, right, Quattro? Yes, it did. And they, re, they, re, remap, they revamped the game. Mm. I'm talking about controls. Mm-hmm. Why they, people got added new moves. They made the cameos much better. So it's like, you know, everybody's not using the, the, the top two cameos. And everything, like, I've been playing it. I'm just like, oh, my God, this is this is, this is is like a new game almost. And this is why when they should have released on release day. And then on top of that shit, we got the new Chaos Realm Day coming out. And these are the six characters that we got. We got three Mortal Kombat characters and three guest characters. So, Quattro, in the interest of you, which one do you think I should start with first? The Mortal Kombat characters or the guest characters? Come on, man. You know we only here for the guest characters. Oh, so you are. I'm, so. <laughs> you, at this point, yo, let's be honest. At this point, you're like, man, who they going to put up? Who they going to add? That's what we want to know. Who they going to add? <laughs> so, yeah, Mortal Kombat is known for its guest characters. At this time, we're, they are doing it different from Mortal Kombat 11 because this time, instead of getting one guest character last year with the Aftermath, we're getting three, it's the same pattern, three guest characters and three Mortal Kombat characters because Ed Boon has stated that they are going to be working for this uh, for, the, for the next couple of years. This is going to be supported longer than Mortal Kombat 11. So I'm just like, okay, keep bringing it. So here's what we got. We got Ghostface, the T-1000, and Conan the Barbarian. Now, I look, can I say something real quick? Absolutely. Before the announce of Conan the Barbarian for this. Yes. What in the world of I'ma say any anything was the last mention of Conan the Barbarian? Like, does anybody under 30 going to even know who Conan the Barbarian Bruh, is? That's what I was seeing a lot. Because first of all, it was like, who the fuck is Conan the Barbarian, right? And to be... I'm like, being, I saw that. Yeah. I'm like, like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know what? I kind of... You know what? I guess you could arguably say that about the T-1000, but I, you can't. It, it was almost like, mm, we needed Arnold, but not Arnold. I got an idea. <laughs> So, okay, so I have a theory about that. Because first of all, like I said, to me personally, Conan the Barbarian to me is the weakest person in this whole pack. However, I guess he's probably going to be the one that plays the best. And that's how this shit always works. But and he's probably going to play, play like K- Kodo Khan. I'm, I'm, I'm betting money on it right now. Or to like even, I'm, not, I'm jumping series here. Um, what is my man? If, I'm sorry if I messed the name up. Tuvok from Kill Instinct. You said two hawk? <laughs> like, yeah. Because there was a barbarian character in Killer Instinct too. Oh yeah, it, w- it was. It was. That's my, that's my closest reference of what I'm expecting Conan to fight now. Like, listen. But look, Mr. Andy, when the last time you don't watch Conan the Barbarian? I'm going to tell no, you. No, I'll stop. <laughs> Come on. 
look, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. I've seen Conan the Barbarian maybe once in my life, uh, and, and 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 that wasn't even a full screening of it. And on top of that shit. The, the, the way my mind works growing up, I always thought he was He Man Masters of the Universe. <laughs> Listen, okay. you're not wrong, bro. You're not wrong, bro. Yo, okay. I felt the same way at SDCC when they were like, yo, we got that new Masters of the Universe toy out. I said, why? <laughs> and, and, and to me, in, in all my years growing up, they always were the same person to me and I never just knew and the thing, and also the thing of this is when I heard rumors about because these was all data mining rumors so but you know I try to keep myself away from that because I like being somewhat shocked about it and I was really hoping for the T-1000 I could get to that in a second but the thing is about Conan the Barbarian is that I always looked at him like an Injustice character not a Mortal Kombat character mm-hmm. I felt as though like see like because everybody was like, well, what guest characters are they going to use now? I'm just like, honestly, I really think that, like, I, there's still Neo out there. There's still a Power Ranger. There's still Indiana Jones. There's still, there, there's guest characters. But I, I I look at those people for um, injustice, not in Mortal Kombat. I think, I think they try to get the properties that are, they're like, violent. So, Conan... I don't know if he like I, I just don't know and I was like this is he probably gonna play great because that's how they usually are but he I was like I heard super if anybody watches super on YouTube check him out he he, he made a theory which I think makes sense he said I think that in order I think Arnold wanted a two game deal in his contract and in order to use his likeness because that's his likeness in Mortal Kombat 11 not his voice they had a different voice who did a good job anyway mm-hmm. But to use his likeness, he had to be in like two. And now I think this is the time that we can actually get Arnold, with, along with his likeness, along with his voice also. And I, I think that's a possibility of why it, it, it could be like that. So I'm just like, well. No, that, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Because it honestly felt like, yo, they added T-1000. And it was like, oh, let's add, let's add the Terminator 2. We already put him in there. Hey, we still need Arnold. He was Conan too. Bet sound good. Yeah, like, you right like, that. Here's one thing I, 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 I was really excited for because when I heard the rumors earlier last year about the T1000, I said, please, please let the rumors be true because I love the T1000. Okay, and I I know that we didn't get it because I was like their focus on Mortal Kombat level was Terminator Robocop. I got that, but the T1000, I was like, I'm curious of how this man gonna play. And then, of course, we got Robert Patterson uh, bringing back, you know, reprising his role as that, who also played Peacemaker's dad in the Peacemaker show. So, we'll mm-hmm. get, yeah, he said, so I'm like, okay, we, 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 we're going to get, we'll get, 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 get those dialogues. And I was like, okay, I really want to see, because right now, the man is just liquid exoskeleton type thing. And I'm like, I, I want to know mm-hmm. how this thing going to work. And, and it's like, you know, it, 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 it brings enough curiosity to me that I was like, okay, cool, because where else am I going to get a T-1000 in the fighting game, a legit one? Street Fighter ain't bringing him in there, so I'm just like, well, I'm cool with this. Then there's, I, 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 I've seen mixed reviews about this, there's Ghostface. How, how, how so you know I'm not a horror guy. That's yes. not my jam. I do know of Ghostface because I know of the, the Scream saga. Ph- phenomenon, whatever. I don't even know if it's called Saga after like twelve movies or whatever. <laughs> yeah. How do, how does Ghostface fight? <laughs> okay. I'm you, confused. You want the honest answer? Yes, please. He can't. So this is called Mortal Kombat, right? Yeah, so, so yeah. So so here's the thing. This is why this is why a lot of people because he teased Ghostface coming in because they're doing the horror characters. But out of all the, we we have had, uh, Texas. We had Le- Leatherface. We have had Jason Voorhees. Every free at Freddy Krueger, everybody's been clamoring for Michael Myers, but I think that's a studio's issue that they're having right now. That they're not bringing Michael Myers because you know, everybody there's copyrights and contracts that you got to work out and stuff like this, also. And Abu said in the interview, it's not about how it's not whether they're dies, it's how they're being killed, is what a lot of studios are, you know, having a problem with. That's why you never seen Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat ever cross over, ever. Okay, so because mm-hmm. Capcom ain't having that shit, you're not killing Ryu. Okay, so that that that's how that is. So, Scream or, me, or in Ghostface is is there, there there are multiple people depending on what movie you're watching. 
But there, there is a a a a, a clumsy. Uh, I don't want to say teen, but you know, young adult that is just killing. Like honestly, kind of a pussy. Like you can beat the shit out of Ghostface. Out, out of all the horror icons that you have, Ghostface, you can like. It's like if he came to my house, I'm like, bro, I don't really need to run because I can. I can do this. So like, I can understand. That, like I'm just gonna look at you and you gonna lose because I can see you coming. Yeah. <laughs> so how he is going to play is what a lot of people are concerned about and i'm like first of all just to have ghostface in there i'm like i think it's cool i mean the ghost the ghostface mask is iconic but then once again i've heard uh some other youtubers out there talking they, they say listen after scream came out it was cool but then when scary movie came out and they made fun of scream now all i see is that you know and scary movie, scary movie one and two, and then you have the you know the what's up ghost face and stuff like that. So I can I can see that issue. Me personally, I'm just like I know because I think they're I think Scream Eight is probably trying to come out next year. Mm. Because yeah, because uh, Scream Scream came back and the and the recent movies have been pretty good from about the five, six, and seven. I think they've been pretty good. So I think I think there may be another Scream movie coming out. So I think I think Scream is going to be the last one to come out, and I think. I'm hoping T1000 will be the first one to come out this year. But that's how the, that stuff plays out. But then, that that's not it either. Because after the three guest characters, we got the three Mortal Kombat characters. So, number one, new side bodies coming back. This means... That's who that was. Yes. New side bodies. I couldn't, that's the character I couldn't tell who it was. Oh, okay, that's fire. Yeah, new, new side by is coming back, and because the reason why he, he has the green on there, it has a little hat because he's infected with the like 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 the chaos emeralds or, or something like that. Whatever whatever the hell havoc got going on for that, he's a, he's affected by that. It is still Beehive, but it's like Beehive under the control of havoc. So we gotta see how that storyline plays out. But new side by is back, which means this marks the first Mortal Kombat game ever since trilogy that. Or maybe was it? Maybe not. I got I, no, no. I, I, I didn't. I, I know. Damn. As I think about it, ever, this is the first time in the Mortal Kombat game that has every single ninja in it. That's awesome. Every yeah. ninja: Scorpion, Sub Zero, Air Mac, Rain, Reptile, Noob Sidebot, Tremor. These are all Smoke. All eight ninjas. Are in the game at the same time, and we see it's like I'm still waiting for Street Fighter to do the same thing with the uh, Shokin characters. Ryu, Ken, Dan, Sean, Akuma, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I need, I need them all in the game at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It, it'd be a cold day in hell before we get Sean again. <laughs> <It's>, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. They, him and his ADA ball is gone forever. It, gone forever. <laughs> well, this is the first time we're getting all the ninjas in the game at the same time. I think that's quite telling. And amazing. That's awesome. That is. And but then is we that, get uh, yeah, but then oh, we get to uh, Huh? Is that true on the female side too? Do you got like Katana, Melina, Frost, Jade? Okay, no, so when it comes to the women, uh I I, I guess I don't want to call them ninjas, but that that category is Katana, Jade, Melina, Scarlet, Tanya, Scarlet, and uh, I, I, I gotta think some more because right now there is rumors that Jade is coming, and if we get a if we get a Scarlet cameo, then it will probably be all the ladies. But right now That's we have all the ninjas. Okay. Yeah. So. But then we get to the most controversial thing is that we get Sector and Cyrax that are making their return to the game. But this time, there's a difference. Sector and Cyrax are now women. And now they're not, according to what the trail looks like, they are not completely cyborgs. They are in like a cybernetic suit. So real quick, I, I'm going to let you express your opinion about this crop if you have an opinion about it. I'm going to tell you all my opinion and I'm going to say to y'all what I think y'all need to calm down for. But also, I can okay. assert this, I can, I can understand, but I, I'm going to let you I'm gonna let you go first, Quasar. 
I love Noob coming back. Noob was definitely a fan favorite that played well. Uh-huh. Um, I like I like the idea of having a female version of Sector and Cyrax because last time I checked, and this is going off the movie Annihilation, Sector oh. and Cyrax. Yeah, right. Sector and Cyrax is more of like a core of volunteers of of uh, people that was made cyborgs or um some robo genetics. So technically, Sector is. Cyrax is not a person. It's more of a it's more of a job, the job of sector or the job of Cyrax. So I don't mind. We're there's negative here, sure. Okay. Women could be sector and Cyrax. This makes sense. It's not like they said woman sub zero. No, they made frost. So no issue there. Um Ghostface don't make no sense to me, bro. I'm sorry. Yes. Um, <laughs> like like um unless the fatality is some type of cinematic video of somebody just running and and tripping and falling onto something that killed them and then he just walks away slow i don't know like as i don't know it doesn't really make sense to me here <laughs> um excited for the t1000 i feel like that should just be cool and i like what um what was mentioned about i need some type of interaction between him and peacemaker peacemaker go dad or he was like you would be lucky to be my son you know or something like that i take that like <laughs> So, okay, here's the thing. Number one, so just so because I am on your side here, but first to to, to protect mm-hmm. you from from the people that will point shit out, Sector wasn't in annihilation. It was Cyrax and Smoke, and okay. they are they are they are humans that were part of the Lin Kuei that went that got tested for the cybernetic program. Okay. So. And those are their names, Sector and Cyrax. This is why a lot of people are mad because that's their name, Sector and Cyrax. Sector is of Japanese descent, and Cyrax is black or of African descent. Okay. How you want to call? It. So, because they showed that in, in 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 Mortal Kombat Nine when they, they was doing the Sector Cyrax story, and then they were the ones that were turning to the uh, robots. And the same thing with with Smoke, who got captured and got turned to Cyber Smoke, and then. In, in the story in Mortal Kombat 9 Sub-Zero saves Smoke and then Sub-Zero gets turned to Cyber Sub-Zero so these are humans that are being turned into that's why they, the Cyber Link Quay that's why they have been turned to humans before Here, but here's well, um, just okay, you said that was 9 didn't, didn't we get a reboot after 9? no 9 was the reboot 9 was the reboot okay yeah. this question <clears throat> Your Mortal Kombat knowledge is better than mine. I will never admit. I won't fight that. <laughs> <laughs> but my my thing is this here. When I hear Mortal Kombat 1, automatically, they said that Luke Kane, you know, created this world in his image. Which means everybody was, before the game even came out, everybody was like, well, I'm expecting this to be different. Like, I'm going to try to go balls to the wall. Okay. So if you want balls to the wall and change the story, Special Forces is killed. That's why Jackson Sonya is not a main person in that game. They're cameos. But mm-hmm. then, also, we have Young Raiden, who's now Earth Realms champion, and Luke Kane is the god, where Luke Kane was the champion before. You know, Johnny Cage and Kenshi are best friends right now, and Kenshi didn't start out blind. And then T- Takeda is now Kenshi's uh, cousin, opposed to is dead so there's changes so when it came to Sector and Cyrax when I seen them as cameos I was like okay one thing about the cameo system is like there are some people that complain that they don't like the repeat cameos and there's three repeat cameos it's Kung Lao, Scorpion and Sub-Zero but in re- the way it's formatted it's like Kung Lao because because the, the, the cameo Scorpion is Hanzo where Quali Yang mm-hmm. is the is the main roster scorpion in this game. Mm-hmm. Which by the way, they're brothers and they and they switched. You know what I'm saying? So there was changes. You have Sector and Cyrax, the original versions, as cameos. And I can understand them saying that I don't want to put this two of the same character as DLC and I got them two as cameos. So why not switch it mm-hmm. a little bit? So it's like, and then because even in the gameplay, you can see that 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 they, they, they got some kind of newer moves in there than the the original. Because I think they want to just kind of switch them up a little bit, and I, I I understand that. Now when it comes to the gender swap, 
I don't mind it. I don't really give a fuck. Because people say, well, you know what? They got to... Another one never puts a woman in uh, their combat pack, even though they did put Sindel in their combat pack in Mortal Kombat 11. But I'm saying is that... Uh, and then they did have Melina as a woman in their combat pack too in Mortal Kombat 11. And then they had also had Shiva in the aftermath. I, I'm just saying, you know, just keeping track here. Those were women I just mentioned, right? Or a female descent, right? So now it's yeah. like, well, okay, now we got Sector Cyrex as as women. And now it's like, they, they, I mean, do they look like Bionicle? Sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but <laughs> yeah. Bionicle. Yeah. They they have like you know f- futuristic looks and it's like a it's more like a suit because you know Cyrex's uh, face mask c- comes up uh, in the trailer. I'm like okay, that's like that's where we're going here. So you can still use them and still use the cameos to have a complete sector of Cyrex experience. So I don't that that doesn't bother me. You know now I, people out there you know it's like hey. If there's Sector of Cyrex fans, it's like, hey, I want my original Sector of Cyrex. I get it. But then once again, it's like you can't make everybody happy. And then I can understand not wanting to put two of the same cat Because it's like, if you put those original Sector of Cyrex on there, you got to have them play somewhat different than the cameo do. Yeah. Because, Alex, I know you don't want to play it, but if you play like Kun Lao on, on the base roster, right? Mm-hmm. That Kun Lao does not play like the cameo Kun Lao. So when you put them together, you get like a complete Kung Lao. Because mm-hmm. the one on the roster don't have a teleport. The one on the roster don't have, you know, his his uh, Kung Lao spin. So, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's like having a complete version of that character. So I get it, you know. And it just doesn't, it just, it really just doesn't bother me. I, I, I really think we should get mad over something. But I'm like, we, we're getting... A whole new story expansion, which even though, real quick on that story expansion, I'm like, this is like straight Infinity War here, and I'm just like, I'm I'm kind of disappointed in that because Mortal Kombat was it, it went went the the multiverse route in this story, and I was like, it didn't need that. Mortal Kombat got enough lore and characters and plots to not go the multiverse way. You know what I'm saying? Where we have different versions of different characters. And I'm just like, we don't need to go that way, honestly. And then with with mm-hmm. with, with Havoc, and it's a little like he got the Infinity Stones in his chest, which which could be the the those I forgot what those things are called. They come from different realms. It, it's possible. And 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 Titan Havoc, I think is is a good sub boss for hopefully Unaga. I'm hoping that they bring in somebody else different. But I'm just saying. But right now, with, with, with that expansion, I'm just like, it, it, like even in the trailer, they, they had the fucking Hall of Havoc, which is like the Hall of Kings from Marvel. I was like, this is like, somebody was up there and I was like, I love Marvel and wrote that shit down. That's how I felt, and that's honestly how I felt. <laughs> I love Marvel. Yeah, I'm saying, saying, boy, they know how to do it, and I'm like, Mortal Kombat has his, has enough of its own lore. But however, with, with the and then also the pricing. I am a little sour about the price of this shit. Fifty dollars. I wait. Yeah, what? Yeah, yes, yes. I was, I was, I was, I was getting to it. The thing is, fifty dollars for it's kind of like when it's like like buying the whole aftermath. And I, the thing is, it's like I get it because I know Warner Bros. wants to make the money, and it's it, it's it's cheaper and more efficient to make more money. But I keep adding to the game opposed to just going out and making a whole new game. And because there, there's plenty, Ed Boone already uh, revealed this, and people that worked at another round revealed that there's plenty more to come. Because there is even talks about in the data mines of Combat Pack Three, like you know, they're still going to keep supporting this game and stuff. So I get it, but it's it's like I bought the premium edition. I paid 110 dollars for that premium edition, and to the point where it's like, can we get it for like 30? I know we gotta pay something. It's an expansion to the game. I honestly you gotta pay something. But can I pay like thirty and then anybody else pay like forty? I wanna let you know. Charging game price for DLC is kinda ridiculous. It 
bro, you should, I, 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 I'm agreeing with you on here. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not, in, I'm not in the business, but I'm still agreeing with you. And even with the stuff that, that that's coming, I know we get a story expansion, we get six new characters, and we get in new skins and all that stuff. I appreciate all that. I really do. It's just that it can be a little steep, and I can understand people's complaints about it. So I'm like, yeah, they almost like you wait until it gets cheaper, and they go out there and buy. It. I know that's what you would probably do. Dumb. People was mad for paying for just for fatalities. I mean, if you think about it in retrospect, um, how much was the fatalities again? Like the special fatalities? So, Wasn't it like... When it first came out, they were trying to have people pay $10 mm-hmm. for that shit. And I was just like, don't yeah. do that. But $10 then, for a fatality. But then they, 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 they took it down to five and then they, they, they made a bundle. Like if you had paid for the first holiday theme fatality, then you would get the other two for free. So... They did make some changes on that, and now the skins are only five dollars now, opposed to ten dollars. I was like, because first of all, everybody want to throw shit at Mortal Kombat, like, like, you know, this shit was expensive. It was. I'm like, but Street Fighter one trying to charge fifteen dollars for that damn Ninja Turtle skin. Is Street Fighter six? I want to let you know, I'm still mad at Street Fighter five, sir. <laughs> let alone six. I'm still mad at five. Yeah, I'm about to say like, yo, so don't act like Capcom don't do shit like this because they are. T- everybody is trying to make money that's the point you try to make money so like miss you with that but i'm excited for it and once again i do hope you come over and play some more time because they released the movie skins now so they got the movie skins for scorpion sub-zero and reptile that shit looks awesome dude it from the, the 95 mortal Kombat movie then they got the they got the ultimate mk3 ninja skins that, that came out for Air Mac and Rain. So, uh, Sub Zero com- comes out uh, in September, and then they had one for Scorpion and Reptile. So I, I like all that sh- and, and Smoke. You know they have really brought new life to this game, and I'm like I knew, I knew that's what they that's what they fucking do. So your experience of playing it the first time, I guarantee it's gonna be a diff- complete different experience playing it this time. I don't argue with it. I I want to let you know that it, that. Price point of that DLC is a buzzkill, though. Honestly, it is. No, no, I, I get it. I, I trust me. I get it because that, that, that's how that's how it was with aftermath. And it's like people, people wait, just wait till the thing came down. But I'm like, but for you though, because they give a lot of free stuff now, so you can just get the standard game, and you ain't mm-hmm. got to worry about you know what I'm saying all that other stuff right now. Because right now the standard game with, with the DLC and the kid coming out, this, this shit is, this shit is dope. This shit is dope. So. I enjoy y'all, so I, I, I just want to give y'all my honest thoughts about that. 